Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Paul Adams from SoftEast and today we're going to be checking properties of plastic materials and we're going to be focusing on checking density of plastics. So let's have a look at how we actually check the density. So density is one of the most important properties of plastics. One method of checking density is by using a plastic densiometer. This method uses water displacement and weight to determine the density of polymers. You can either check raw pellets or molded parts. Now, the plastic densiometer. If a supplier has this in the factory, we would use this to verify raw material coming into the factory against the data sheet. We would also check the density of finished products to ensure the molded parts meet specifications. You can see on the right hand side here an example of a densiometer as well as some measuring equipment below. So let's have a look at how we actually check the density of polymers. So let's take for example two pounds of polymer. Now in order to convert that into grams we need to multiply it by 453.5. So two pounds is equivalent to 907 grams. So the first step is to fill the graduated cylinder to the 500 milliliter mark with water. Carefully lower the piece of plastic into the water until it is fully submerged. Next, record how much water level rises. This is the volume of your plastic in cubic centimeters. For example, if the water rises to 625 milliliter mark, then it rose a total of 125 milliliters. Now we know for a fact that one milliliter of water equals one cubic centimeter. So the volume of your piece of plastic is 125 cubic centimeters. Now, in order to get the density, we need to divide the mass volume by the volume value to determine the density of the plastic. So the equation is mass divided by volume or in our case, it's 907 grams divided by the 125 cubic centimeters. So therefore the density is 7.256 grams per cubic centimeter. So don't forget to check out our other videos in this series of plastics. And you can always contact us if you need any help at all with your projects in China. And don't forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button just here. And also hit that little bell symbol just here because what that'll do is notify you every time we upload some new content. So thanks very much for listening. My name's Paul Adams from Southeast.